from the legendary M1 Garand to today's M4 and M16 rifles, standard-issue infantry rifles have been the ubiquitous icons of the troops who carried them. Military weapons are neat, but they typically follow a pattern. Standard-issue often means boring. Standard-issue only goes so far. Certain military personnel depends on more specialized weaponry, not just the normal Spec Ops Bubba's, but a variety of jobs require a variety of unique weapons. So, we've put together this review of our eight unconventional guns of the United States military. Sega 12 Sega shotguns began their life shortly after the fall of the Soviet Union in the 1990s. Designed originally as a sporting and hunting shotgun for the Russian commercial market, its popularity quickly surged as people realized its potential for tactical applications. Shortly after, Izhmesh began modifying the design to optimize it for police and military use. These tricked-out variants were mostly employed by Russian SWAT-style police units, like those attached to the MVD. While the Sega 12 caught the eye of some American police agencies as well, they mostly procured semi-auto versions. Police agencies from several other countries have bought Sega shotguns as well. Prior to the ban of certain Russian weapons into the United States, the Sega 12 was a favorite of professional three-gunners and mag-fed shotgun aficionados. It chambers the 12-gauge shotgun round and feeds from a magazine. Magazine size can vary from 3 to 20 rounds, but 8 to 10 rounds usually strike the right balance between capacity and size. If you are fighting from boat to boat, a shotgun offers a very capable weapon. Shot spread is your friend with moving targets, and the Sega 12 can drop a dozen rounds in just a few seconds. HK G3 The G3 is a German-made battle rifle, created because the twice-invaded by Germany creators of the FAL refused to license the design to Germany. The G3 provided a more accurate and ergonomic battle rifle option than the dreaded M14. Since at least the 1960s, the G3 rifle has made an appearance in most of the world's significant conflicts. From various African bush wars, conflicts in Northern Ireland, and the global war on terrorism, G3s have played a part. Like the AK, perhaps the biggest marker of the G3's success comes from the sheer number of rifles that have been produced and proliferated over the years. Besides being made by H&K in Germany, Licensed copies have also been produced by 12 other nations, including Greece and Turkey. Over the years, it has been adopted by more than 80 national armies and several non-state actors as well. The G3 rifle is still widely used today, whether it be by professional armies, insurgent forces, or civilian sports shooters. B and T, a PC-9K Pro. The APC-9 was introduced to Europe in 2011 in 9mm and was quickly engineered for 40 Smith & Wesson and 4-5 to ACP offerings. The standard model's barrel length measured 7 inches and featured a right-side folding polymer stock. A carbine variant with a 16-inch barrel was also developed for the commercial market, as well as integrally suppressed models. With a 4.3-inch barrel, the APC-9K is a tiny terror that includes a collapsing stock and weighs 6.7 pounds. You can toss on suppressors, lights, optics, and lasers with relative ease. It's a plain Jane Blowback SMG that's a reliable system, albeit a simple one. The APC-9K Pro was also reconfigured as a semi-automatic pistol so that it could be sold as a commercial firearm to the U.S. market. The major differences between the non-civilian and civilian pistols are the absence of full auto markings, a selector lever that rotates to a third automatic fire position, internal sear, a side folding or collapsing stock, and a removable stubby vertical grip. Besides the functionality and some different furniture, the APC-9K Pro is virtually the same gun as available to U.S. soldiers. Sig Sauer SP-2022 the SP-2022 started out life as the P-2340 in 1999. At the time, Glock's polymer frames striker-fired pistols were cutting into SIG's share in the military and law enforcement world. Polymer guns were still tough, but lighter weight and cheaper to produce. SIG's answer was a 40 caliber pistol targeting law enforcement using a polymer frame while retaining the aforementioned familiar operation of their older trusted platforms. The SP-2022 is a full-sized handgun available in either 9mm Luger or 40 Smith & Wesson. 
Oddly enough, it is one of the few handguns developed from the ground up for the 40, whereas most 40 caliber handguns are 9mm designs made to take the larger 40 round. The gun is hammer fired and is a traditional double action slash single action design. The SP2022 is easy gun to shoot. Even with the polymer frame, isn't a lightweight pistol nor is it abbreviated with the short grip and controls of a pocket gun. With this service-sized handgun, you can expect accuracy that is more than acceptable for the task. Gao 5A It is a reproduction of a military classic. This gun is infamous for its use during the Sante Raid in 1970, otherwise known as Operation Ivory Coast. Compact, powerful, and effective out to 300 meters, these tidy little takedown guns are small enough to ride inside a standard 40-pound ejection seat survival kit. The logic behind this inspired acquisition and the passion driving this remarkable design are comparably powerful. Interestingly enough, it utilizes an MLOK rail system instead of the typical military issue KSC rail. This lightweight carbine setup provides a lot of firepower if you're shot down over enemy lines, more so than previous escape rifles. The amount of detail and effort applied to building each of these GAU 5 carbines makes them expensive, each retail for $2,600. These carbines are probably not going to be a hot item for the casual AR shooter, but they will have strong appeal for many, including veterans. Anyone that wants a working sample of a rifle inspired by the GAU 5 used to help launch U.S. Special Operations would be interested in this tribute. M231 Port Firing Weapon the M231 firing port weapon is a simplified version of the M16 assault rifle designed to be mounted on firing ports on the M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The infantry's normal M16s are too long for use in the compact space of the IFE, so the FPW was developed to provide a suitable weapon for this role. Designed by the Rock Island Arsenal, the M231 FPW is currently still in service in the United States military. This 5.56 rifle, whereas a 15.6-inch barrel, lacks a stock, features a shortened receiver extension, and offers a cyclic rate of 1,225 rounds per minute. That's insanely fast and allowed the crew of the Bradley to open up and defend the vehicle via the volume of fire. The M231 has an extremely high rate of fire of around 1,200 RPM. Troops are highly discouraged from using the weapon while it is dismounted from the firing port. The high fire rate would make it tough to control, but it locked into the firing port. This takes care of the muzzle rise issue for the most part. The M231 is a limited-use weapon, but it's seen some action in and out of Bradley vehicles. Sig Sauer M11 The M11 is a U.S. military designation of the SIG Sauer P228 pistol. In the early 1990s, this pistol has been adopter by the U.S. military. It was issued to military police, naval aviation, military criminal investigation command, and some other units that require compact and unobtrusive handgun, smaller than a full-size M9 pistol. This weapon is also popular among civil customers. The M11 comes with a double-action or double-action-only trigger. This pistol has a built-in firing pin safety. There are no manual safeties. It is worth noting that double action only version has no decocker. The M11 can be carried safely with a loaded chamber. This compact pistol is available with a standard aluminum or stainless steel frame. Version with aluminum frame is slightly lighter. The M11 is fed from double stack 13 round capacity magazines. It is also compatible with 15 or 20 round magazines of the full size SIG Sauer P226. Magazine release button is reversible. The M11 proved to be a durable, reliable, and well-made weapon. M15 Revolver The U.S. Air Force clung to revolvers for decades beyond the adoption of automatic pistols. The M15 is more properly known as the K-38 Combat Masterpiece. This Smith & Wesson revolver is a medium-frame 38 Special revolver capable of holding six rounds. The Air Force utilized the 4-inch barrel model. The K-38 or Model 15 is a sweet shooting revolver. The big frame and hefty weight make it a pleasant shooter with a rather soft shooting 38 Special round. The Combat Masterpiece title was earned through the weapon's lack of recoil, accuracy, and robust reliability.
It worked, and Air Force security forces acted as police officers, and worked in rather safe areas. The old M15 revolvers worked well, and they stuck around long after the adoption of the M1911. The M15 served with the U.S. Air Force Police from 1962 up until 1992, when the Beretta M9 saw widespread adoption. At this point, M15s are used to fire blanks to train working dogs, but the Air Force plans to eventually replace them with the Sig Sauer fitted with blank firing adapters. That's a process still in the works.